God bless you, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is Saturday, the 28th of March. It is the eve of what would be the fourth Sunday of worship here at the Aldersgate United Methodist Church. As I gather in the safety of the sanctuary, I sit in solitude, but know that the presence of God is here with me as I reach out to you through this medium of communication. I'm not discouraged by what I don't see, but I am encouraged by what I do see. Pastors continue to be creative in ways that they reach out to the people of God um, based on the fact that we're not able to gather together as a faith community. It doesn't lessen the fact that we are still powerful in the hands of God. There's a song that I was in my spirit early and the songwriter said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The Lord liveth. Blessed be the rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. God does live, and God is to be exalted in these trying times. He is to be lifted up. We're not to lose our focus uh, by things that are taking place in the world around us, but we are to be confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in us will be faithful to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. In Romans 12 and 1, Verses 2, Paul would encourage the church at Rome. He said, I implore you, I beseech you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, being that which is of your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and perfect and acceptable will of God. What will our spiritual act of worship be on tomorrow as we are not able to gather in the safety of the sanctuary? I want you to know tomorrow that there are many ways that you can reach out to the community around you. You can do so in prayer. You can do so by your daily devotion. You can pick up the phone. You can call a friend, a neighbor, someone who may be feeling alone and isolated in these current times. You can even use the medium of social media in order to reach out to those in your inner and even in your outer circles. But I think that the most important thing that we can do in times like these is that we can lift up our collective voices to God in prayer, that he would stem the tide of the deaths that um, we're experiencing as a result of COVID-19, and that God's healing power, God's healing hand would reach across the world and that he would begin to touch people's lives and give them hope in knowing that ultimately he is in control and that he who has begun a good work in us will be faithful to complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. My message for you today is to, to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For in as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Reach out and touch someone in all the ways you can, by all the means you can, in all the places you can, by the grace of God. We're able to make a dent. We're able to make a difference. God loves you. We love you. Be encouraged and know that this thing will not last forever. And on the other side of this, we will be a stronger church. We'll be, we will be even more committed to the mission that God has called us to as believers. And that mission is making new disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. It's my hope uh, to be back with you on tomorrow to share a message of love and salvation and deliverance, a message of help, hope, and healing. Know that here at Aldersgate United Methodist Church, we are praying for you. We are lifting you up because we truly are all heart and we love you with the love of Jesus. God bless you. Have a great evening.